from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we're hanging out with our four-legged friends and learning everything there is to know about how to train your dog using the brand new Delta SE training system from Garmin. Now, over the course of this episode, we'll show you the new features Garmin has incorporated into their latest generation of dog training devices. And later, James Ham, the Lone Star dog trainer, will take several dogs out to the training field so we can witness the Delta SE in action. Hello, I'm James Ham, Lone Star dog trainer here in Dallas, Texas, and I would like to introduce the Garmin Delta SE remote collar. And there are several components to the device itself. The first is the handheld which you're going to carry with you. The second is the dog device, which will go on your pet. You'll have a neck lanyard, which comes with the device, an additional set of contact points with a contact point wrench, a USB-C cord, which is one of the changes to the Garmin charging system, and the dog device charging clip. The collar itself has a lot of nice features. It feels exactly the same wet or dry, so you can use it even if the dog is wet. It's designed to be used even when the dog is in water. On the handheld device, it has 10 levels of momentary stimulation, 10 levels of continuous stimulation, tone and audible sound, and vibration. Vibration has only one level, tone has only one level of volume, but again, with momentary and continuous stimulation, you have up to 10 levels of each one. It can be used right or left-handed. So if it's in the right hand, you'll see how my thumb can move against the dial and increase or decrease. As I see fit, my thumb falls nicely onto the momentary, continuous, or tone buttons. Left-handed, no different. Thumb, tip of the index finger will change your dial. Left thumb, momentary, continuous, or tone. The dog device is an improvement over the previous Delta XC model. One of the biggest changes is the addition of conductive resin or plastic contact points to reduce skin sensitivities on dogs who may have them. On the bottom, there's now the addition of the new collar strap retention bar or shoulder strap that keeps the collar nice and tight up against the body. The power button is located directly between the contact points. And when it comes out of the box, you're gonna have a little sticker that says charge before use. When these come from the box, they are shipped in a low power mode, so they will not work until you charge them for the first time. As you plug them in, your mini USB-C will plug into the charging clip You'll have two gold discs on the back of your dog device, two gold spring pins on your charging clip. You'll have two female slots that simply snaps on top to bottom as you install the charging clip. When it's plugged into the wall, this light will turn red. When it turns green, it's fully charged, empty to full two hours or less. On the right side of the outer rim, you have your dog switch. It will come shipped in the bottom position, which is dog one the top position will be dog two. In order to pair a second dog device, you will move your switch from the bottom position to the top position. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold the power button, which is located between the contact points and the top of the, the dog device body. I'm gonna press and hold. I'm gonna hear one beep. I'm gonna hold continuous vibration or tone for five seconds. I'll hear one beep. That means the device is paired. I turn it on and I will test it or perform a functions check with the tone button. If I hear the tone, I'm paired to that channel. In this case, it's the top position on the two dog switch. Let's say that this is the way it came paired and I wanna put on the bottom position. Again, I'm gonna turn the dog device off and maintain downward pressure on the button. I hear the beep, I press continuous tone or vibration for five seconds. Turn the device on, tone. So if I have two dogs with me, I can go up for dog two, down for dog one. One of the other great features of the new Garmin Delta SE is that it's backwards compatible 
with previous generations of training collars. So the dog device is compatible with the Pro 550 and the Sport Pro transmitter, along with the Delta and Delta XC uh, transmitters, including the Sport model. The handheld is compatible with the Delta XC receiver. It's also compatible with the Pro Series PT5, PT6, and PT10 units. On the dog device, there are two types of contact points that come with it. Long points, 5 eighths of an inch, which I'm showing here, and then half inch points, which are substantially shorter. The one on the left is for smooth coated dogs. The one on the right is for dogs that have fleshier necks or longer coats. To change the contact points using the contact point wrench, rotate counterclockwise and install the new point. You would never use it like this with one small, one long, but I want to show you the difference between the half inch point and the 5 eighths inch point. That is the Garmin Delta SE remote collar. When we come back, we'll take a look at what you'll need to get started and get our first glance at color conditioning. Trust. It comes from experience. Long seasons, short nights. Lessons learned and shared. Sometimes it's easy. But usually it isn't. Seasons come and go. And few things last. And the ones that do are the ones you trust. You always hope for the buck of a lifetime. When it comes. Will you be ready? Zero. Sometimes the world can seem a cold place. So we gotta bring the warmth to it. Sometimes the world can seem a dark place. So we gotta become the light in it. Sometimes the world can seem a broken place, so we gotta strive to fix it. We prepare for the worst, but we must always, always expect the best. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. All right, so you've purchased the Garmin Delta SE training system and you're planning to use it to train your dog. Here's what James Ham suggests having on hand when first getting started. Generally, when I work outside in the beginning stages, I use a long line. Long lines are anywhere from 10, 12 to 15 feet long. They come in cotton or biothane. I like the biothanes because I work in wet grass a lot. They don't get soaked, they don't get dirty, very easy to clean. I have two lengths of leashes, six foot and four foot. The six foot I use a lot when I'm introducing a dog to the electronic collar indoors. I use it a lot when I'm working on small recall drills. The four foot leash I use when I teach smaller movements or even introducing a dog to play so I don't have to worry about as much slack hitting the floor, wrapping around, or my arms extending to manage the leash right. I do use a lot of food in training paired with the electronic collar and leash guidance. So I have a food pouch. The last thing, this is a bed uh, that I can use as a bed, a cot, a place as I teach the dogs to move away from me, hold their position, remain stationary. You don't have to have a cot, you can have a platform, a wood box, a bed, which separates the dog from the surrounding environment. It is extremely useful. But again, the basics what you need is yourself, your remote collar, the Garmin Delta SE, long line, six or four foot leash, food pouch, and your cot, bed, platform, Matt, and this is really all you need to get started. Well, you heard him. It's time to take this outside and begin our training. The first thing we'll do is find out what level our dog is operating at by going through the steps of collar conditioning. Home is brand new in training, has done nothing to this point. We're going to use the Garmin electronic collar, the Delta SE, to identify the level that he first perceives and will work at. And then I'm gonna move around to teach him that looking at me is what I'm looking for. 
process we call collar conditioning. So on my Garmin Delta SE handheld, I'm gonna start on level one on the dial. And I'm going to begin tapping in a cadence, tap, 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 trying to identify whether the dog feels the collar or not. So I'm on level one and I'm going to get behind the dog. He may have felt that. Good job. I'm gonna work behind him. Good boy. Now that's very uncommon. There are many dogs who will level one. They aren't perceptive of it. So there's no, there's no set level. I can't give you a definition of this dog is gonna work on this level. Right now, he's in front of two people behind cameras. He's never had that in his life before. So he's turning, good job, buddy. Very nice. But I'm gonna constantly try to move away and move behind to see if he's in fact paying attention to me. Because once I have him paying attention to me, I can teach him anything. So the rhythm of the tapping is important, the cadence. It has to be steady. The more consistent it is, the easier it is for the dog to understand. Good job. And so right now he seems to work best on a three and a four. Very nice. And that lets me know that his range generally is gonna be between a two and a five today at 93 degrees with unusual distractions around. And so every lesson I do after this, I'm gonna start somewhere between probably two and a four. It may change throughout the duration of training, but ultimately it gives me a good starting point and that's what I need to know about my dog. Selecting a level and the initial stages of conditioning the dog to the electronic collar. Good boy, Ohm. When we come back, we'll be treated to more expert tips using the Delta SE training system. Waterproof your hunting gear with Atsco. Get maximum protection for your hardworking leather with Atsco Snow Seal. By using Atsco Snow Seal on preheated leather, it instantly melts and draws deep into the pores for lasting protection. Atsco Silicone Water Guard repels water while still allowing material to breathe. Get 30 to 50% more usable product in the same size can than traditional aerosols. Visit atsco.com or call 800 845 2728 today. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Engel Coolers, the original high performance cooler. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. All right, now so far in the show, we've learned about the new features of the Delta SE training system from Garmin, seen what we need to get started and figured out how to condition a dog to their new collar. Now we'll continue our training session by demonstrating the follow me command. Here I have a 15 foot long line, so Tebow will have the opportunity to move away from me. I want to create space between me and the dog so that I can teach him to come into me. I'm gonna have the loop of the leash over my right hand. My transmitter is gonna go into that right hand over the loop of the leash. I'm gonna manage slack with an overhand grip. So if I need to collect slack, I'm gonna do it with an overhand grip of the left. Never underhand, always overhand. If I start, stop, change direction, I'm gonna prompt the dog to pay attention to me.
And all I want is for Tebow to follow me, to stay loosely within three to five feet, but know where I am. If he cannot see me out of the corner of his right eye, I'm going to reverse direction, turn right or walk backwards to create separation so that he knows to pay attention to me. And every time he can't see me out of the corner of that right eye, I'm gonna change direction. As long as he can see me out of the corner of his right eye, I'm gonna continue moving in that same direction. Very nice, buddy. So that's the follow me drill in basic form. Up next, let's work on our sitting abilities. The sit command is gonna be a four count movement where we teach a dog simply to put his bum to the ground. Basically, as we're walking, I'm gonna grab slack with my right hand, slide my left hand down the leash. I'm gonna take my right hand and put it where my left is. My left is gonna go down the dog's spine. When I feel my hands pass his hip bones, I'm going to press down, lift up on the collar, tap, tap, tap with the momentary button. And the moment the patent commits to going into a sit, I'm gonna say the word, stop tapping, release the pressure, and praise the dog. It looks like this, come on. We've already selected his level. He operates on a level four. One, two, three, sit. Very good. Heel. One, two, sit, sit. There you go. Good boy. One, two, sit. And once I have the dog doing the basics of sit, and I can work on a little bit of stability, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the leash so that I'm at the 12 o'clock position between the ears. I'll apply slight upward pressure. I'm gonna try and rotate around the dog. Come back, praise, good job. Slight upward pressure, rotate a little bit more. Very nice, come back, release the pressure, praise the dog. Again, slight upward pressure. Good job. And those are the basics of the sit command. Well, so far, all the good boys we've seen in action are responding incredibly to the Delta SE training system. Coming up, James will share two more training sessions to wrap up this show. When we discovered Evercom Deer Scent, we were just a small family deer farm, and we still are today. Our family put in long hours wondering if it would be worth it. Then, in the late 2000s, the recession hit, and hunters discovered how well Evercom worked to harvest deer. Their freezers were filled while losing their jobs. With high inflation and empty store shelves, Evercom can help fill your family freezer by bringing in more deer with ease. Our family is standing with yours. Get the best deer content all year long. Sign up now or follow online at DeerBlaster.com. The best and weirdest hunting content sent directly to your inbox. Get tips, lessons, and behind the scenes stories from across the hunting world. Sign up now at DeerBlaster.com. There's only room for one at the top. With speeds of 505 feet per second, the Nitro 505 is the fastest crossbow in the world. 10 point, defining crossbow precision for over 25 years. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. For this next demonstration with a Delta SE training system from Garmin, James will show us the heel command. In heel, I'm gonna try and teach the dog that my movements, sharp, fast, slow, whatever they be, I need to stay in a position focused on me, fixated on me, on my left hand side, six to eight inches off my left leg, and will allow me to turn left in front of you should I need to. So as I create separation, every time I change direction or change speed, I'm gonna tap the collar. Good job. Sit, yes. So when I work on sits and downs, when I'm doing other drills like healing or recall, I keep the sits together, I keep the downs together, and I teach the downs from a standing position. I don't teach the dog here, heel, sit, and then down. 
I separate sitting down to get a nice clean look. What I mean by that is here's a sit. Very nice. The sit look good. I'll swing into heel. Heel. Good job. Nice. Swing into heel. Heel. Good. And then there's the down. Down. Nice clean drop. Down. Good girl. Down. Very nice. So at the end of the lesson, she's still very happy. And I end it while she's still successful. And we have practiced sit, down, here, heel, and many of the movements that are in general healing obedience. And she doesn't know she's training because she's eating. Very nice. Now that James has shown us several training tips, let's head back inside and see what your dog can look like after four to six weeks of consistent training using the Delta SE training system. All right, so Dealey and I are gonna work the primary command. Sit down, here, heel in place. I'm gonna be using the electronic collar, the Garmin Delta SE, and I'm gonna pair it to his dog food. These are not treats. This is his dog food. He works for his meals twice a day. He loves it. This is the way um, he's learned that if he wants what he wants, which is food, he does what I want, which is training. So I'm gonna first focus on recall. Dealey here. Very good. Then I'm gonna send him in place. Place, good job. When he's on his place, he has to stay on place regardless of what I do. So whether I jump around, bounce a ball, throw things around, he has to stay here. Good, heel. Very nice, place. Good, so whenever I give the command, I pair the command to stimulation, in this case momentary. Here, heel. Good, and then I reward the dog when he does it right. Good job, buddy, very nice. Now the next item on place is gonna be what's called crossing, where the dog has to pass me in order to go to the target. Dealey, place. Very nice, place. So if I'm in my living room, somebody answers the door, I don't wanna to have to take the dog over to the cot. I just wanna tell him, hey, I need you to go, place. And then I can go answer my door. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is cast him back. Dealey, here. Good job, sit. Now I'm gonna Send up my right arm. He's going to go over his left shoulder and he's going to go back to where he came from. Place. Good job. So that's casting. The next one, I'm going to call him to me, but then change the command to going to the target. Here. Place. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Crossing. Place. Very nice. And the farther distance, the greater the speed, the harder the skill, the more I'm going to pay him off. Place, good. Place, very nice. Place, down, good. Sit, yes. And if I wanna get creative, I can have more fun with my dog to keep him more engaged. Spin, circle, swing into heel, good. Center, front, down, sit, good. Go through. Heel, good boy. Place, very nice little buddy. As you work with your dog and you do these 10 to 15 minute sessions twice a day, you're going to be able to do things that today you don't think is possible. You're going to be able to work your dog in front of dogs, cats, kids, rabbits, birds, squirrels, cars, motorcycles. Then you take your dog out in public and you work around restaurants and stores, city parks and plazas, shopping centers, high traffic roadways, and your dog stays focused on you. And that relationship is built through training, consistency, being fair and clear, and the Delta SE electronic collar from Garmin is a critical component of that process. It gives you the ability to communicate at distance, off leash, in a very kind, humane fashion. You're going to love it. It's gonna make a phenomenal difference for you, and we're here to help you every step of the way. Dealey here. Up. Well, as we've seen today, the Delta SE training system from Garmin is a remarkable tool that will greatly improve your ability to get amazing results from training sessions with your furry friend. For more information and to order your own Garmin Delta SE, visit Garmin.com. Hey, thank you for watching, and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. 
Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. This episode was made possible by these partners. Help your engine run cleaner and last longer with Seafoam High Mileage Motor Treatment. Seafoam High Mileage is specially formulated for gasoline cars or trucks over 75,000 miles. High mileage is safe and easy to use. Just pour it in. High mileage works in fuel and oil systems to clean away harmful engine deposits so cars and trucks can start easier, run better, and go longer without costly repairs. Make the proven choice. Seafoam High Mileage is available everywhere automotive products are sold. Unlock your buck's full genetic potential with Record Rack Sportsman Premium Deer Feed with all the vitamins and minerals to support healthy body weight and antler growth. You're not just feeding your deer, you're feeding them better. Learn more at recordrack.com. Of the air gun hunter, Umarex Air Guns. It's in our nature to protect, defending our heritage, our way of life, and the ones we love. It's your right. Don't give it up. Protect it or lose it. Walkers. High vis sights are forged to be the brightest and most durable sights no matter where you are. In the home. <coughs> on the range. During competition. or out in the field. See what you've been missing with Hi-Viz.